Uptown Records started five people. They were all writing tell-all books. Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. And I'll be sure was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a coma. Kim know all his deepest secrets. You understand? Kim knew why he was using the butt plug. <laughs> Kim died from pneumonia. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body. Sean Combs Love is under fire after the revelation of new information suggesting his involvement in Kim Porter's unfortunate demise. Rumors allege that the toxins found in Porter's body were discovered by Andre Harrell, Kim's longtime best friend, and he openly questioned Diddy about their whereabouts. Will these pieces play an important role as many believe in proving Diddy's involvement? Well, we've got all the deets, so let's investigate together. Kim Porter and Andre Harrell were great friends at both professional and personal levels. Kim Porter was the longest working employee at Uptown Records, performing her duties as Andre's personal assistant. Not to mention, she was already making big bucks while modeling at the same time. Well, their solid relationship was broken when Kim Porter passed away due to pneumonia, but the first coroner report stated that she had toxins in her body. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. Just like most people, Andre was also suspicious of his friend's untimely death, and rumor had it that Andre inquired Diddy about the traces of toxins found in Kim's body. Being part of the industry for many years, Andre must have been quite knowledgeable about what went down behind the scenes, and his inquiry itself is a red flag that indicates foul play. And that is definitely not all, because according to some sources, Andre was helping Kim Porter in writing her tell book and Diddy was furious about it. Diddy and Andre actually got into an argument back in 2017 that Andre was helping and assisting Kim with writing her tell-all book. Well, it makes sense that friends always help each other, reminiscing past events, especially when one of them was writing a book on it. But it is rather questionable that Diddy would have had a problem with Kim writing a book. To prove this point further, Jaguar Wright spelled it out for us that tell-all books were the main reason for the demise of the majority of the late Uptown associates. They were all writing tell-all books. Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. And I'll be sure was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a coma. And the fans believe every word Jaguar said. Diddy killed everybody that worked for Uptown Records, except I'll be sure he survived. So he could be where he is now. Heavy D, Kim Porter, Andre Harrell, and I'll be sure. But he survived, like I said. All died from heart conditions, and Kim died from pneumonia. Well, from the looks of it, many are trying to expose the truth about Diddy, but none has been successful so far. And that's a major possibility that Diddy was involved in Kim's demise in one way or another. Let's not forget about how closely Andre and Diddy worked. And it's near impossible that Andre did not know about the backhanded deals Diddy was involved in. And word on the street is that Diddy and Andre had several altercations at the company surrounding these deals. And when things went out of control, Andre fired Diddy from his record company. Puff wouldn't really listen to anybody, so I knew it wasn't going to work. I didn't do it to hurt him, but Obviously. I knew it was time for him to grow. But that is by no means the end of it. Some anonymous close friends of Kim Porter have come forward by revealing some key pieces of information about the untimely demise of Kim Porter. They emailed a YouTuber covering Kim's story to help them spread the information. They wrote, if they're going to say that it was pneumonia and that she died peacefully in her sleep, then why was there blood located on Kim's pillowcases and also a slight trail of blood on the bedroom door that led to the bathroom? We all know that these details were not included in the official report as her death certificate stated that the reason for her demise was natural. Los Angeles Medical Examiner Coroner stated, On the morning of November 15, 2018, Kimberly Antoinette Porter, date of birth, December 15, 1970, was discovered unresponsive in her home located in the 10300 block of Woodbridge Street in Toluca Lake. It was later determined Porter died from low bar pneumonia, and fans believe that Diddy had a hand in changing autopsy results. Diddy killed Kim Porter and nobody can make me believe differently. 
Not only that, an anonymous tipper shared some hidden secrets about the content included in Kim Porter's book that is still a work in progress. But it does contain some interesting secrets that could potentially destroy Diddy's career. She showed me the rough drafts that Kim sent her. When looking over the details of Kim and Diddy's relationship that will be exposed in the book, it will absolutely blow your mind. Diddy revealed his madness himself before he broke up with Kim while giving an interview. I'm wilder, I'm crazier. A lot of us are wilder and crazier. We just need to, we just need a chance to really break through. Well, it looks like his untamed and reckless antics were also noticed by other artists such as 50 Cent because he claimed that everyone who gets involved with Diddy gets devoured by him. It's the next to me. Mm -hmm. It's the next to job. Look, Puffy might be the destination for anybody going nowhere. But Kim's ex-boyfriend, Al B. Shure, has a different take on his first love's death. Shure claimed that in the time leading up to Porter's death, she was running from someone or something and that he had told her recounted in a now deleted Instagram caption to call the FBI. Only later did he add instead that she was running a marathon. Aside from sure, Kim's former stylist also came forward with allegations that Diddy actually bought the unique 24 karat gold casket a month before Kim Porter passed away. She also revealed that Diddy was also in a relationship with many men from the industry, even when he was in a relationship with Kim, such as Clive Davis. Well, Diddy did play his part dutifully after Kim Porter and Andre Harrell died. He gave a tribute performance dedicated to his so-called comrades in the music industry, sharing a heart-touching video saying, Save me a dance lady kp andre harrell i promise y'all i'm going to finish what we started rest in power done got real at kim's one year death anniversary he took to instagram saying i miss you so much so much every time i get sad i look at this video and it brings a smile to my face i thank god for the precious time he allowed us to have with you i wish you were here with us right now and this was all a dream i will never give up on that wish never Love you forever, Kimberly Antoinette Goodwin Porter. But people in the know have been exposing Diddy for his devilish ways. Gene Deal claimed that all the regret Diddy is showing after Kim's passing is a propaganda and it's all a fluke to win people's hearts. You gotta look at the dude actions, man. His actions when Kim was alive. He was with every chick, every dude, whoever he wanted to be with, you know, when Kim was alive, uh, praying with them. To add to that, it looks like a lawsuit for wrongful demise is in the future for Diddy. An anonymous tipper revealed that Kim's family has never accepted that the cause of their beloved daughter was pneumonia, and now they're seeking professional help to prepare a strong case against Diddy. And interestingly, the tipper added that the lawsuit was a joint effort of the family and another one of Diddy's victims, Usher. But the public is rather worried for the family that it would be harmful for them if this information were to be leaked. Why publicize this obviously private information? Why not know and decide that right now may not be the time to expose this? It may jeopardize the people that are going behind Diddy's back to make sure something they have solid concrete evidence and trying to protect themselves at the same time. It's obvious given Diddy's past actions that this is a very serious matter that should be handled wisely and cautiously. That person was wrong for even leaking that private info. And let's not forget what Kim Porter herself said about her relationship after her breakup in an interview with Essence. As black women we sacrifice, we stand by our man through thick and thin, through whatever. But if you feel like maybe I'm getting the short end of the stick, that's when a change has to take place. But when the late actress was pregnant and the toxicity of the situation dawned on her, she decided to uproot the evil at its base. I laid low and did what women do. I did my background work, collected information about the other women. It's not an original script. He's not the first man who cheated. He's not the first man who had a baby outside of his relationship. He's not the originator of this. But at this point in my life, I have girls now. It's a different program. Well, it looks like even though everyone has tried their best to unveil Diddy's real face, things are still in his favor. An insider texted, cultural spill creator that Diddy has once again succeeded in stopping the truth from coming to light. Just wanted to let you know that Sean has put the clamps on Kim Porter's book from making it to the shelves. Yeah, he didn't put the pressure on all the parties that were involved in the process of putting the book together. In other words, he has stopped Kim Porter's book from being published. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.